Hello everyone, I am Jaren James and welcome back to JX3 Designs. In this third installment of the Soft UI Social Media App Design Tutorial, we are going to design and prototype a navigation bar with the help of components in Adobe XD. As always, the project files to follow along this tutorial is in the description, download them for free. Open the project file. Select the artboard tool and select the iPhone X excess size. Zoom into the selected artboard by using the shortcut Ctrl plus 3. Double click and rename the artboard to navbar. Apply the light background color to the artboard from the Assets panel. Select the Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle across the bottom of the artboard. Make sure it is with a width of 375 and a height of 95. Remove the border and apply the dark blue fill. Press V on the keyboard for the Select tool and move the rectangle to the base of the artboard. Rename the rectangle to BG since it will be the background layer of the navigation bar. Zoom into the shape, and with the rectangle tool selected, draw a rectangle of width 110 and height 40. Make the corners round, by dragging on the inner round anchor points. Remove the border, and apply the dark blue fill color. Now rename the shape to selection, light. Duplicate the layer using the shortcut Ctrl plus D, and rename the bottom layer to Selection, Shadow. These two layers will be used to create a soft UI button. Select the light layer, and apply a shadow. Pick a light blue color with 50% opacity, and offset it to negative 5 on both X and Y, along with a blur value of 15. Now select the shadow layer, and apply a shadow with 100% black at 50% opacity, and offset it to 5 pixels on both directions with a blur value of 15. Select the two layers, right-click and group them. Rename the group to selection. Move the selection group to the nav bar to preview the soft UI button, and place it 30 points to the right of the left border. You can do this with the help of smart guides. Pressing the Alt key will bring up smart guides. Select the BG layer, and lock it in position. Go to the Assets panel, and you can find the four icons for the nav bar. Select all four of them, by holding the Shift key, and drag and drop them into the artboard. Select the icons from the components and delete them. I will explain why while prototyping. Select the icons, and drag them to the artboard. Place the first icon 50 pixels right of the left border. Center them on the selection shape. Move the last icon to the far right, 50 pixels to the left of the right side. Hold Shift and select all four of the icons. Go to the top of the Properties panel, and press the Distribute Horizontally button. Now select the Selection button and the three icons on its right, and distribute them horizontally. Select the Text tool and the Character Style for Navbar Text. Add text to the Navbar icons. I'm giving a spacing of 12 pixels between the icon and the text. Duplicate the text by dragging it, while holding the ALT key. Make respective texts for search, likes and profile.
Select the three text layers and reduce the opacity to zero. Select the four icons and place them on top of all layers in the Layers panel. Select all the layers, unlock the BG layer, and group them. Rename the group to Navbar. Right-click on the group and make it into a component. The nav bar will show up in the components section in the assets panel. You could find component master properties in the properties panel. Currently, the default state is selected. Press the plus button on the right side and press the new state to add another state to the component. Rename it to search and press enter. Make sure that you are in the search state and select the home text. Reduce its opacity to zero and increase the opacity of search text to 100. Rearrange the icons and the selection button to create a state where the search icon is pressed. You can use the distribute horizontally button to equally space the icons across the navbar. Now center the search icon and text on the selection button. Select the nav bar group and make a new state. Rename it to likes. Repeat the same steps and modify the nav bar. Now create a new state and move the selection button 30 pixels to the left of the right side. Rearrange the items and finish the final state. Click on the default state to see the home icon highlighted. You can cycle between different states and see the icons move in the navbar. We are done with design, let's head on to the prototype section. When the component is in the default state, select and highlight the search icon. Click on the blue circle with the arrow, now an S curved line appears. Set the trigger to tap, type to auto animate. In the destination, we can either choose an artboard or a component state. Here we are going to select the search state. On the heart icon, select the destination as likes, and do the same on the profile icon. We have to rename state 4 to profile to easy identification. Let's do that real quick. Now go to the search state and repeat the process with every icon except the state. I am going to fast forward the video since I am repeating the same process for two more states. By the time we are done wiring, each icon will transition the component to its respective state. While designing, I have deleted the icons from the components because we cannot define a component transition to a component. This technique won't work if the icons were existing as individual components. Once we are done, make the artboard home by selecting the blue icon. Click the desktop preview icon to open the prototype. Click on the icons to test out the smooth transition and we have made it with the use of a single artboard. Hope you liked the tutorial. In the next part, we will continue to design and animate the social feed. 
So stay tuned, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Bye, and have a great time designing with Adobe XD.